Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you my list of my top 7 favorite Halo Play Arts Kai figures. Square Enix has had the license to make Halo figures for around 7 years now, and in that time they made some really nice figures. I made this list based on how great the figures look, their paint, articulation, accessories, and just how much I like them overall. And also, this is going to cover all the figures they made from Halo Reach to Halo 5. So at number 7, I have the Halo Reach June figure. All the Halo Reach figures are really nice, and this one's no exception. It's very nice, and the sculpt and details on it look great. The awesome design of June is also seen really well on this figure. The sniper he comes with looks great and has great detail, and for me the paint is definitely something that stands out as the visor and weapons also look great. However, he does have the same problem as some of the other Halo Reach figures, where he has kind of unproportional thighs and weird proportions, which is something seen in a lot of the Play Arts figures, but in this one it's a little more noticeable, which is why it's in number 7. However, this isn't a huge problem once you start posing him and get him in a really cool position. You don't really see it as much. So, Halo Reach June is a number 7. Number 6 is going to be the Gold Mark V figure. There were four other of these Mark V figures uh, that were made of the Spartans, and the gold one is my favorite, and it looks really cool. I love the design of the Mark V in these Players figures, even though it's a little weird and stylized. Um, it may turn some people off, but it does end up looking nice. It's also cool that we get a great looking rocket launcher that comes with this. It's got great articulation and the gold panel in it really looks nice. And I would definitely recommend this if you like the Mark V armor. But definitely make sure you like the stylized look of the helmet first, because I know that will definitely turn some people off if they're not in the new kind of redesign. But if you do want the stylized Mark V figure, but don't like gold, then you can definitely get one of the other uh, black ones, the red ones, or the blue ones. However, I think the black one might have been an uh, exclusive or something, but I'm sure it's online somewhere if you're really into that. So at number 5 I have the Halo Reach George figure. This is a really nice figure that is actually kind of hard to find now for a decent price, but George has an awesome design and was personally my favorite Spartan from Halo Reach. And the proportions on this one are much better than on the other figures, on the other Reach figures, probably because George is just so huge. But the paint, as with most of the Halo uh, Play Arts figures, is great. His turret has an amazing sculpt, and the bulkiness of his armor really shows through the figure, just like it did in the game. And even the small details like his shoulder look great and are well articulated. If you're a fan of George, definitely try and pick this one up. I really like this. It looks great. Uh, definitely, if you're a fan of him, pick it up. If you're a fan of Reach in general, pick it up. And it is cool that we have a nice, really good figure showing off George and his armor. At number 4, I have the Halo 4 Blue Spartan Warrior. This is a figure that really surprised me. I don't even really love the warrior armor, but the figure is very well done. The blue paint with the silver accents looks amazing, and the proportions on here are much better than most of the Reach figures. The visor also stands out as looking very good. The articulation here is great and allows you to pose it in many different ways. The only complaint I kind of have is that the paint on the BR does end up looking kind of flat, but that's something that you can easily hide by posing it, and it's just a personal thing for me, but I'm sure that won't bother a lot of people. And the great thing is you can also pick this up now for a great price on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that, more than a lot of these other figures. It's pretty cheap, so I would definitely recommend it. If you uh, want a Halo 4 figure, the warrior armor, even though I don't love it, it still ends up looking pretty cool. At number 3, I have the Halo Reach Cat figure. This figure looks absolutely amazing. Compared to all the other Reach figures, this one feels the most like it was pulled directly out of the game. The proportion problem really isn't seen here, probably because Cat's a female, and that seems to be what Play Arts does really well. But the paint, paint, sculpt, articulation, and everything about this figure is completely fantastic. I don't have much to say about the figure, just the fact that it's great, um, it's simple, it shows off Cat's design, her robot arm looks great, and obviously it's not perfect because this is an older Player of Sky figure, a lot of the Reach ones aren't perfect, they all kind of have similar problems, but uh, the, far, the good far outweighs the bad in this one, and it's one that I would definitely say looks exactly like it was taken out of the game, and would definitely recommend buying it if you're a fan of Reach. At number 2, I've kind of got a tie between the Halo 4 and Halo 5 Master Chiefs. The reason I have both of these at number 2 is because they are very similar. They both have the same chief armor and are very close to each other. The Halo 5 one is probably the better figure overall, however I wouldn't really say it's worth the $150 price tag that it launched with. Thankfully it has gone down since then, but that's still way too much to be paying for this quality of a figure because it's not the best thing ever made, but it is very good. And the proportions do seem kind of weird for parts of the figure though on Halo 5. I do probably like the Halo 5 one better just because it seems brighter and has a nicer looking visor, but it's a nice looking collectible. 
However, if there was a massive price difference between this one and the Halo 4 one, I would probably definitely go with the Halo 4 one. This one's more up to personal uh, choice if you want to get the Halo 4 or the Halo 5 one, but definitely do some research before you choose to buy one of these. Um, they're both great, it's just kind of a personal decision if you want to buy the Halo 4 or 5 one, and you can like look up reviews of both and figure out which one if you want to get a new Halo 4 or 5 looking Master Chief, which one you want to buy. At number one, I finally have one of my Halo favorite Halo figures of all time, the Halo 2 Anniversary Master Chief. I absolutely love this figure and it is by far my favorite Halo Player Sky figure. I really love this because it's not really stylized like the other figures, it looks exactly like he does in the Halo 2 Anniversary campaign. He also comes with a lot of great accessories. Just the overall look is amazing and I love how bright the green is and it looks just like Halo 2. I haven't really had any problems posing it and I was blown away by the amount of articulation there was when I first took this out of the box. I also really love this because it reminds me of the old art style of the Bungie games. If you love Halo 2 or just Halo in general, I would definitely recommend this since you can get it now for a pretty good price. So that's my list of my 7 favorite Halo Player Sky figures. They've made some great figures and even though lately they've started overcharging, like with the Halo 5 figures with the Lock and Chief one, you can still get a lot of the older ones for great prices. So tell me what your favorite Halo Player Sky figure is in the comments below and thanks for watching.